Hello folks, today we are here to pull down the cruiser slide. My name's Stephen from the Market Direct Group in Brisbane. Today I'll have Richie helping me from our administration staff in Brisbane. And we're going to take you through the pull down of the tent. A couple of tips as we go through. Should be good. So the first thing we're going to do is drop all the window flaps. It's important that all the window flaps on, this, on the walls and the main tent are put down first. It actually protects the screens. The layer of canvas that you're going to drop over the top of it will give the screen some sort of protection when we fold it up. It's not just going to be a naked screen. So first part, we're going to take the walls out. We've already removed the floor and the skirt from the inside of the tent. So it's just a matter of undoing the Velcro. When we fold the canvas up, Lay it down so the canvas is on the ground, the flaps are on the outside, and all the mesh is on the inside. So when we fold this up now, we're just simply going to fold it over. But you can see by putting the canvas on the outside, we've actually protected the screens all together. So if it happens to rub up against something in the bag, you're not going to get a hold in the screens. They're the hardest things to fix. Ideal place to do this on the grass. If you do it on gravel, be very careful not to walk on the canvas. You're only going to put holes in it and you'll get it dirty as well. When you're folding it up, make sure there's no insects, especially ants, that are in the canvas. They'll just build a new nest in there. The, the acidity from their bodies will actually eat a hole in the end. Just important little tips like that. And if you're folding it up wet, you're going to have to dry it out at some stage. So on our cruiser slide here, we've got the external ensuite. Leave the ensuite attached to the walls, that's how it comes to you. It just saves a lot of setup time later on trying to attach it again. It'll fold up just as easy with the ensuite on there. If you've been camping on the beach or where there's a lot of sand, it pays to have a cloth with a bit of WD-40 on just to wipe the poles down before you close them up. Stops the corrosion that will uh, go onto them if they put in the pole carry with a bit of moisture and a bit of salt on them. And as you can see, if we just tuck the ensuite into it as we're going along now, the whole thing will fold up quite easily with it on. Today, I'm actually going to remove the awning. I personally would rather remove the awning because there are times when I do an overnight stays, I don't require the awning. It can be folded over the top of the roof. A lot of people do it. Just remember that you've got more canvas in there and it'll take a bit more tucking in to get it to work when you fold it up. So we're just going to start here, exactly the same as when we put it up. Come to the corners, remove the poles, and we work our way back right down to the other end here so the last last one standing will be the centre where we started with the setup. If you pop the canvas off the top first it's just a matter of lifting the spreader bars out. So what I've done here, I think it's essential the first time you ever put your cruiser or any one of our campers up, after you've pulled the poles down, put them in their own separate poles. You see I've got the spreader bars here with the eye to eye ends, the spigot pole and the poles with the hook on that go into the main frame. Get a couple of cans of paint or even some electrical tape, colour code them. So the next time you pull the poles out you can see. I've got the three yellow poles or whatever colour you're going to use. Just makes it a lot easier to organise yourself as you're going along. So as the final part now, I'm just going to take the awning off. Just simply a matter of pulling the Velcro up. Take it nice and easy as we pull the slide out. If the zip gets stuck anywhere, just take a bit of time to get over whatever it's caught on. and the awning just comes off as simple as that. We'll just fold this up now and put it with the rest of the walls and then we're going to move on to the main unit and start packing that up. So 
So now we've got the annex off, all the poles are down, we're down to the main unit. As I said with the annex walls, it's important. Close the windows up first. So when, so when we're folded up, that screen's protected again. It's not going to be exposed, it's going to have canvas either side. If there's any moisture on it, just give it a quick wipe, any dirt. Ants tend to build nests on it, any bird droppings, give it a quick wipe off now while it's convenient. So being a cruiser slide, we've got a couple of unique features we've got to take care of. Basically lift the canvas up. This area here that we zipped up in the uh, final preparation putting up, we now release. If you don't do this, the slide can't come in. So we've got to do that on both sides before we get inside to do anything else. So what Richie's doing here is exactly what we did on the outside. Make sure all the canvas flaps are done up. We've got a canvas flap on the outside, we've now got one on the inside, and as you can see, the fly screen or mesh is now sandwiched between two pieces of canvas. It should never get a hole in it in that way. Richie's going to move on to remove the spreader bars now. This is the preparation we're doing. It'll let us fold the whole tent up. You've only got the three spreader bars to take out. So the other part of our final preparation inside now, we've got our table that we've been using for the dinette area. It's just simply a matter of pulling up, folding down. And this can sit straight down on the floor now, perfectly flat. We'll be putting some of the canvas walls on this before we do our final pack up. Just keeps it out of the way and safe and stops it moving around as we're travelling off-road as well. So the final part now, we've, we've prepped the hole inside, the mattresses, the bed's been made up or pulled down depending on what you want to do. We've only got these bows that support the main tent to bring down. In the slide you've got a couple extra, so we've got eight in total that comes down. These four that we've just done here and another four over the bed area. And at that point then we're ready to fold the tent up. So I've got Richie inside doing the final bit of work on the inside now. And I'm just going to go around, make sure there's no ants nest as I said before on the canvas. If there's any water on there, a quick brush off. The biggest problem we have is condensation inside of these trailers when they're packed up wet. People don't even realise they're packing it up wet. The tent may, be, it may appear dry at 10 o'clock in the morning, but the fact we've been sleeping inside, the condensation from our body forms on the inside of the canvas. It's really got to be dried out. That's, that's the moisture that will cause the mildew on the inside of the canvas when it's packed up in a hot Queensland day or anywhere in the country for that matter. Just make sure if you get it home, if you, if you even suspect on any moisture in the tent at all, just pop the top up again. Don't have to open it completely. Let it sit like that for a couple of days inside a shed or the carport, it'll air out completely, completely dried and you'll never have the problem. So as I've said before, we've got the table folded down, we've got our precious canvas, you've really got to store it somewhere where it's not going to get hurt, completely dried out, ready for the travel or the, to the next destination. Just simply place it on top of the table in there. It means when we fold the whole thing up now, all your canvas is going to well and truly be protected, not just from the rain, but dust, dirt stones, everything. So the final part of the, of the cruiser slide now, we're going to remove these cushions, move them onto the sides, get them out of our way. So all the cushions are now out of the way. The club lounge back is down. We've just got this barrel bolt down here that stops the slide coming in now. It's just a matter of pushing the slide out a bit. We've got to the final stage now of getting the slide in. I'm just going to get Richie to go around the back, pull the canvas in on the sides there, Richie, and give it a gentle push in. And the whole slide should start to come back in for us. Just go around, make sure we've got no canvas caught up anywhere. It's only a final push in now. Do our T handles up. Simple as that. 
Lift the spare wheels up there on gas struts. There's not too much weight involved there. Put one of your sides on. We've still got a couple of barrel bolts under here to do. Simple as that. We're now ready to fold the main tent up. So what we're doing now, we've got the slide pushed in. The cushions I put up on the bed to get out of the way while we did that, we're just putting back on the top here, spreading them out nice and evenly. It'll let the whole tent sit down that much better. One final little tip, and I still get caught out by it. On all of our forward folds, the door must be shut now. If you leave the door down and close it up, you're going to have to open it up because the gas truss will stop you doing it. And don't worry folks, I'm still new to this day. So in final preparation, I'll just go around, just push the canvas around a bit, make sure everything's going to sit down, especially where the bows are. That's our last bow over the bed. It's got to be in the full down position for it all to fold up okay. That one's looking pretty good. Fold your bits of canvas in, go right around the whole unit. Just check and make sure there's no obstructions for when we finally flip it over in a couple of minutes. So one of our final parts. We've used the winch to hold the bed base down so the wind can't get under it and give you that nasty surprise of a night time. We just release it off that. The tent now is basically ready to fold the whole unit over. There's a winch at the back if you don't feel strong enough, but if you've got somebody to help you, it's a lot easier just to push it over like this. No strain involved. It'll sit there like that now at about the 45 degree mark. We'll just go around. There's a trick I'll show you on the other side to, set, to pull it down, but we're just gonna check and make sure the canvas and the bows have all fallen into the right position for us. The winch is not only handy for pulling the whole unit over, but when you're into this final setup or final pull down stage, we can also use it as a great leverage device to pull the top down. It makes it really easy to do one person. Just a matter of undoing some of the line out taking it around the bottom of the boat rack here and we're going to go up to the top where we've got our eye bolt here click that in there now what's going to happen now as I wind the winch over it'll pull it down hold it in position while I can walk around and check the canvas to make sure we're not pinching anywhere it's essential that we get all the canvas in behind the seal one little bit of canvas sticking out if it's out in the weather the water will get onto it, the canvas in its natural properties will wick the water back into it and you'll have another mildew problem before you know it. So right at this moment I'm just going to go around and check make sure all the canvas is on the inside. I'll get Richie to do the same on the other side. All right over there Richie. It's a very controlled way of doing it. So now we've got all our canvas in, we're ready to start doing the over 90 latches up, so it's just simply a matter of hooking them up and pulling down. Now the last thing we're going to do is fold the rack up. Simply a matter of pulling the R-clip out of the safety pin, taking a bit of weight off the boat rack, popping the safety clip out, and then we're going to push this over. Now if Richie runs around the other side there, he can just take the weight for me. You push them back on a bit because we've got a couple of struts there. If you have any weight on the rack, it would help. Just a matter of putting the safety back in, just simply a matter of lining the pin back up, put it in, put the safety clip on, it'll stop the rack coming undone if, if something happens on the other side when you open it up for the next time. Final thing, secure the rack, it's just a matter of pulling down, putting one of the over 90 latches down, folding it up, moving back and doing the other two. What we've done now, we've completely packed up the cruiser slide, ready to hit the road, just a matter of coupling up to the vehicle and away you go. As you've seen from the whole demonstration of putting up and pulling down, it can be done very quickly for overnight stays. If you're doing extended stays, you'll put the awning up with the walls on. Overall, 45 minutes up, 25 minutes down should be all it takes to do.